Introduction Some resources get renewed or replenished quickly. Some of these are unlimited and are not affected by human activities such as solar, wind and hydropower energy. But careless use of some renewable resources can affect their stock. Resources that have a limited stock and once the stocks are exhausted, it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished. As this period is more than the average lifespan of human beings, such resources are considered non-renewable. Coal, petroleum and natural gas are some examples of non-renewable resources. Renewable Energy Sources Non-conventional resources are recent innovations that do not cause any pollution and can be renewed easily. Solar power, wind power, tidal power, geothermal power and nuclear power belong to this category. One can safely include biomass in this group of alternate, sustainable and non-polluting energy resources. Solar Energy The sun provides abundant energy to the earth. According to an estimate, the solar energy of 10 weeks is roughly equivalent to the energy stored in all known reserves of coal, oil and natural gas. It is most widely available besides being an inexhaustible source of energy. Many countries use this energy for cooking and heating purposes. Solar energy can be harnessed using solar collectors which can heat water for domestic purposes. Photovoltaic cells convert sunlight directly into electricity. Experiments are being done to make solar energy more efficient and less expensive. Japan, France, Germany, USA, Canada and India are producing photovoltaic cells in small quantities. They are still in early age of development. Wind Energy Wind power like solar power has evolved over a long period of time. Wind has propelled ships as well as driven windmills to grind grain or pump water. More recently, wind has been used to generate electricity. The potential for wind energy is tremendous. However, there are problems in its use because it is highly variable in time, place and intensity. The greatest potential of wind energy lies in North American coastal areas, especially California. In Europe, Netherlands has used windmills for a long time. Denmark has several wind power units. China has ambitious plans to set up huge wind energy farms. From grinding to generating power, for agricultural purposes, windmills have been in use for many decades. Hydroelectricity Wind power is generated by the force of falling water in hydroelectric power stations. This can be transported by transmission lines. The generation of hydroelectric power does not create pollution like thermal power plants. Hydroelectricity is gaining importance because water is an inexhaustible resource. It is a clean energy too as it does not pollute the environment. Another advantage of this energy is its cheapness. It involves no cost in transport. Its transmission through wires makes it easily available to houses and mills. However, it cannot be stored for future. So markets should be readily available for its consumption. Large amount of capital is required for making dams on rivers, fixing machines and turbines and laying the transmission wires. Africa has the largest potential for hydroelectricity but has so far developed less than 1% of its potential. Developed countries like Norway, Switzerland, Canada, USA etc. have harnessed their water resources successfully. In India, hydroelectricity is being generated by several hydel power plants. 
ಭಾಕ್ರಾ ನಂಗಲ್ ಹೀರಾಕೋಡ್ ನಾಗಾರ್ಜುನ ಸಾಗರ್ ಕೊಯ್ನಾ ಎಟ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾನ್ ರಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಬಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸ್ಟೀಮ್ ಪವರ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಸಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿಯತ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಕೋಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಓವರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಪವರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿಯತ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಬ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಡಿಮೆಂಟರಿ ರಾಕ್ which is formed from the remains of decayed plants and trees based on its carbon content coal is divided into four types anthracite it contains more than 90% carbon and emits very little smoke on burning bituminous it contains nearly 70% carbon content and is the most common type making up nearly 80% of the known reserve lignite it contains only 40% of carbon since it contains a large amount of moisture it is not found suitable for use in industries peat it contains of partially decomposed vegetable matter it is hard to burn as it emits little heat and a great deal of smoke usa is the leading producer of coal in the world but most of their coal is of bituminous quality russia is another very important producer of coal major coal fields lie in siberia urals and moscow region ukraine is another very important producer of coal china also produces a huge quantity of coal coal mining states in china are shansi honan shatu and hunan UK also produces high quality of coal at Durham, Newcastle, Yorkshire, Lancashire, Derby and South Wales. Similarly, Ruhr Basin and Rhine Basin of Germany produce good quality of coal. India has mostly bituminous coal. The states of West Bengal, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh are the leading producers. Lignite is found mostly in Tamil Nadu. Petroleum It is a greenish or brownish colored liquid found in porous sedimentary rocks in the earth. In modern times, petroleum has emerged as most important source of energy. It is used in driving automobiles. Most of the oil reserves are located in offshore areas. The major producers are Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Russia, USA and Venezuela. These countries supply over 90% of the world oil. In India, oil was first found in Assam. The oil reserves of Assam have almost depleted. Gujarat and Maharashtra are the major contributors because of their location. Gulf of Khambat and Mumbai High an offshore area in the Arabian Sea are major oil producers in India some oil is also found in Krishna Godavari delta area petroleum is obtained in crude form it is refined in oil refineries several oil products like gasoline petrol kerosene diesel etc are made from it natural gas Natural gas is found along with petroleum. One of the main sources of natural gas is the relatively shallow stretch in the North Sea from Lincolnshire to the Netherlands. Gas is transported over great distances by pipelines. Its byproducts are used in agriculture and industrial sectors. Fact: Natural gas was only used locally for the first 100 years in the US because there was no safe way to halt it. The first US city lit by natural gas was Fredonia, New York in 1821. Hydroelectric projects. Most of the Indian rivers have been harnessed for several useful purposes under the River Valley projects which are also called 
multi purpose projects the multi purpose projects serve many purpose at the same time such as flood control irrigation hydroelectric power generation soil conservation afforestation fisheries navigation tourism etc 6.5 conservation of energy and power resources energy conservation refers to the reducing of energy consumption through using less of an energy service energy conservation differs from efficient energy use which refers to using less energy for a constant service energy needs to be conserved to protect our environment from drastic changes to save the depleting resources for our future generations the rate at which the energy is being produced and consumed can damage our world in many ways in other words it helps us to save the environment we can reduce those impacts by consuming less energy the cost of energy is rising every year it is important for us to realize how energy is useful for us and how can we avoid it getting wasted to start saving energy is not a big thing at all we can start saving the energy from our home itself by turning off the lights during day hours washing clothes in cold water or using public transport instead of using our own vehicle and later can implement these things on much wider scale at society level then at city level then district level and finally at country level petroleum conservation research association pcra is an indian government body created in 1977 and engaged in promoting energy efficiency and conservation in every walk of life in the recent past pcra has done mass media campaigns in television radio and print media an impact assessment survey by a third party revealed that due to these mega campaigns by pcra overall awareness level has gone up leading to saving of fossil fuels worth crores of rupees besides reducing pollution